Hi everyone, thank you so much for being here with me today. Uh, I'm just having a super relaxed, easygoing day and I'd like to bring you with me and talk about the Guiding Light Oracle deck by Kelly T. Smith. It's been a very long time since I've done a video like this. Uh, that is for like a couple different reasons. One is just because I had accumulated a lot of decks and I was simply happy with what I had. And it's also a very expensive hobby. Unfortunately, I'm kind of like a typical millennial where the hobbies that I have, I sort of have had to monetize them a tiny bit just to like make it worth the time and pay a bill. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> for for a long time, I think all hobbies that include spending any money was kind of just put on hold. And that's that's still kind of the case, but the thing is that on Substack, I started sharing uh, my, my monthly numerology reports. And then it's not just a video, but I put text in there too, so there's a little bit of a, a additional message in there. And so I wanted to also bring card readings into those posts, and I felt like I just needed some fresh tools for that. So uh, I'm hopefully going to be making a few of these videos of the new decks that I got for that endeavor. And yeah, I just, I, I like the style. I like the kind of show and tell style. You get to spend some time with me. We get to explore the artwork and the messages. I, I hope you like this video. Thank you for being here with me today. Please subscribe if you want to you know, find out what other decks I got. And also please be sure to check out my Substack link and subscribe to those monthlies that I'm publishing there. It will include the YouTube video, but like I said, it has bonus content in there. And yeah, yeah. It, the, you know, Substack is new to everybody, so I will just say that there are many different tiers, there's many different options for subscriptions, and it's going to ask you for a paid subscription, but of course you don't have to, and the uh, numerology reports or forecasts or whatever you want to call them that I've been sharing on there are free, so you can go ahead and just choose the free subscription. And some of them might be uh, like, at some point I might put the, the card readings behind a paywall, but I, I like for everybody to see them first. So those will be free. And also if you're not very much a reader and you don't want to hear the updates or, you know, in your email inbox about my other content, like sometimes I write about writing and sometimes I post my fiction there, Metanoia. And, you know, I have a lot of journal entries cooking at the time. So if you don't want to subscribe to those two, there's also a way for you to specifically select, you know, what you want to hear from me. So I just wanted to say that real quick. Sorry for the long introduction. Uh, let's get into the Guiding Light Oracle. Thank you for being here still if you are. And yeah, I've had this deck for a while now. I don't know, maybe like about a month. So I've had some time to break it in. For a period of time, I think I was making a lot of unboxing videos, which is really fun because you get to like see my reaction at the same time. But I've decided to keep those a little bit more private. <laughs> like, you know, it's it's a lot of, you, you kind of just want to enjoy the thing and then talk about it later. I feel, you know, I like to keep that little moment to myself as a treat. Uh, but yeah, and then also I feel like I prefer doing the reviews later on because I have a lot more useful things to say afterwards. So anyway, that's not important. Let's get into the, the box. First of all, it's super sturdy. The box on the deck is uh, gigantic. This is what it looks like right here. And I love the backs of these decks. It's like a champagne light, sort of. Uh, and yeah, this was on my wish list for quite a while. I love everything to do with space, hence the space face in my profile picture. I find space very comforting. 
So I don't know why I didn't get a deck like this sooner. I don't know how long this has been published, but it, this deck was not on my radar until recently. And I'm very glad that I found it. There are a lot of cards in this deck. There are, how many cards are in this deck? Like 60 something? 68 cards in this deck. And let's just start flipping through them. Uh, so here. I'm just making sure I have them facing the right way too, so that when I flip them over, they're oriented the right way. Um, so a few things that I like, a few things that I like about this deck is that as you can already see, we have a word like perfectionist. And one of the issues that I personally have with a lot of decks is that they aren't dynamic enough. They don't have a lot of nuance. They're all just kind of centered around lighthearted, positive things, which is fine. Sometimes you need that, but I would also like the opportunity for someone or something to tell me like it is. <laughs> um, we have inspired action here. I appreciate a deck that is willing to call me out on my bullshit <laughs> a little bit. Uh, which is sometimes a quarrel that people have when it comes to Tarot versus Oracle. A lot of people don't like Oracle decks for that reason. They know when they pick up a Tarot deck, at least, it's going to be an honest reading. <laughs> so that's what I love about this deck so far, is that it gives very honest readings and it will call you out on your bullshit. But it also, like for example, Wishing on a Star, has... The other side of that, where, you know, when you do need an inspirational message and you are perhaps uh, living in a way that is conducive to your growth, but the deck will also let you know that as well. And if you need a bright spot, it will be that for you as well. We got soul searching here. Do you like my shirt? This is my favorite shirt right now. It's it's a little oversized, but that's fine because it's very comfortable. Uh, but yeah, it's the common loon bird. And the this glows in the dark. This glows in the dark. It's really cool. I kind of want to start a substack publication and name it the uncommon loon. And like make that like some kind of collaboration and have interesting people on there. Another day, another lifetime, maybe. Home sweet home. Look, we have planet Earth here in the midst of this uh, space theme. And what I love about the artwork about this deck is that it kind of also looks like a painting. It's not just like standard uh, photography that we're used to seeing uh, or like, you know, graphic art images that are clean cut of space. It looks kind of like a painting, which reminds me of the book that I am publishing on Substack and writing actively, Metanoia. Active, sorry, I'm, I lied a little bit there. It depends on the day. <laughs> there have been, uh, you know, times where I'm really good about writing Metanoia and times that I have not been good about it. We have freedom of choice here. But yeah, it reminds me of the book that I'm writing because in the first lifetime that I write about, the main character paints this depiction, the celestial like de the depiction of space and clouds and clouds condensing and raining onto stars. And I always imagine that as the cover of the book. So yeah, it, th this kind of style of artwork reminds me of that healing cocoon of light something really just one thing that I or I guess there are a couple things that I don't really like about the deck it's not anything terrible but the 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 cards are just gigantic and if you have normal size hands that's fine but I don't I have small hands so I struggle um, and the it is glossy which a lot of people don't prefer because they want to take pictures of it. And like me right now, I just happen to have the correct lighting right now where that's not a problem. But sometimes, yeah, you have to be really careful about 
where you're filming these decks and where you're taking photos of these decks when they're glossy because there's a glare. But those are my only two complaints about this deck. Soul Contracts. And I will be putting a link in the description, maybe the comments too if I get to it, if you want to get this deck. Link to buying it. I think it's, I think I got this deck on Amazon. Life Force Energy. Then you have abstract um, messages and artwork like this. This kind of looks like a star supernova of some kind. Yeah, this, this deck very much is comforting to me. It feels like I'm coming home a little bit. It's beautiful. It is just beautiful. Inner Guidance. Kind of looks like a neck and a head to me. And there's a face, also a bubble and a face right here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my brain does not brain the way brains should brain. We have dreams. I really should just cover up my face here so you can actually see the card, okay. Reaching out. And I like the text below the words here. It's time for you to reach out and ask for the help that you need. And I will draw a card and read from the guidebook so you get a sense of what that is like if you're clicking on this video to see if this is something that you want to get. Onward and upward. And if you found your way to my channel and you're new here, also I have many playlists on different things. I have a playlist on like this, some, some card and deck reviews, but I also have, um, I'm a numerologist, so a lot of my playlists are based on numerology. I recommend those. Dream come true. Align with your wholeness. You are not your illness, symptoms, or habits. You, the person, are always whole and perfect. And with 68 cards, there's just a lot of potential messages that you can have here. Soul purpose. It's very interesting. That makes me feel a type of way. I don't know how to explain. It's hitting, it's hitting the right nerves. Share your gifts. Sorry. I feel a little silly today. Uh, Shining Star. It, it also is pretty liberating to make a video on something that is not me talking at you about numbers, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I kind of miss that. And I do wish that sometimes I could share more aspects of my life with you. But, you know, there's there's a lot of issues with that, you know? We have, okay, purging process. You know, those videos tend to not be very popular. I don't think most of you really care about that kind of stuff. Unless, you know, like if it, obviously if it ties into something that is relevant to, you know, the content that I'm making at the time, then I share it. So that's when I'll do it. That's when it makes sense. But the ride. But these days, too, you have to be just so careful about the kinds of things, bumpy ride, yeah, that you say online. We are worried about, uh, you know, getting strikes in our channel. We're worried about a lot of different kinds of things here as YouTubers because they're not forgiving and there's no one to reach out to. So there's that, you know, just having to be careful what you say for that reason. And then people are very divided and so it's you know the haters gonna hate <laughs> it's just a lot of people who um are committed to misunderstanding things kindred souls that's beautiful i i this also makes me feel a type of way yes i love this deck i love this deck so much um heavy heart yeah i've had i've, I've had this card drawn a lot for me went a while having this deck take time to nurture your emotional wounds great for meditation conscious living i've also had this this card a lot 
we have collaboration and this card a lot i don't know who i i get like the the lovers and the collaboration cards all the time and i'm like and i just gesture broadly at my life like with who and my imaginary friends <laughs> the imaginary support that i have maybe maybe it's just like spirit you know because you can ask for help i'm doing that a lot lately Oh, that's another video, but yeah, I've been uh, kind of actively inviting what you would call spirit guides and help into my life. Rise above. Here we go. You will gain clarity on this current situation when you see it from a higher perspective. So maybe that's what that card was hinting at. Because again, gestures broadly at my life and doesn't understand that message reach for the stars it's like when we went to the moon visualization okay i'm about halfway through the deck so i think it's time to pull a card for you guys and see what you get okay. and if you guys you know have wanted to support my channel in the past but just don't have the funds Really, the best thing that you can do for me besides that is sharing my content. Do you know anyone who likes this kind of stuff? Recommend, you know, share a video with them. Um, that kind of stuff is the only way, really, for me to get around because I don't follow trends and I'm not entertaining. <laughs> uh, but I do know that some of the stuff that I have to say would benefit the right people. That's really my goal here. I am a platform on consciousness and I'm here to share this space with you and whatever I have to say that will, you know, benefit the right person. That's my aim here is to not be trendy, is to not get as many subscribers as possible and use as possible. I'm just trying to reach the right people. But like I said, that's very hard with the algorithm. Okay. This card came flying out. We have a purging process. Okay. It kind of reminds me of the video that I just made for the month of July. I'm filming this in July, 2024, where the like feel up, uh, sorry, throw, <laughs> throw up, you'll feel better. I distinctly remember talking about that, you know, when you just have so much mental agony and emotional agony and just like the, the, the stagnation of emotions that cannot go anywhere and it makes us physically sick. And we're all a very, I think, emotionally high strung, mentally high strung with everything going on in the news lately. Throw up, you'll feel better. <laughs> It's like, if you continue to avoid the the, the problems, they, they just get worse and worse and worse and they, they turn into things that become very hard for you to control. So, purging process. You may be currently experiencing emotional discomfort that is disrupting your inner peace. And that is okay. That is okay. Let's accept that it is totally understandable that we feel the way that we're feeling right now. Let's ha let's purge that. Let's get right, let's see what the book says, which is the point of this video to illustrate to you what we have going on here. Standard guidebook. Um, we have the messages section, but before that, there's recommended spreads. What you would expect here. There's okay table of contents cards fifty four. Okay, here we go. You are releasing and purging old belief systems and limited beliefs that no longer serve you. You are purging insecurities and fears that are keeping you from fully embracing your true self. All of these fears and limited ways of being are coming to the surface now to be released and healed. Your angels and guides are with you now lighting up the way for you to embrace the beautiful aspects of your true self that have been hidden deep within. Okay. Uh, while you are experiencing this, you may feel isolated or confused about who you really are, and you may even re relive painful memories that have been buried deep inside of you. This is a necessary part of your spiritual growth. 
Uh, allow these memories, fears, and insecurities to come to the surface now. Call on your angels and guides for support with this. Once you have completed the purging process, you will be left with an inner peace that will permeate your mind, body, and spirit. This process of emotional release will clear the way for a new awareness of who you really are. It will assist you with, uh, sorry, in aligning with new beginnings as you clear out old turbulent energies. Inner peace will be the result of this purging process. Make time for meditation and self-care. You may even be guided to journal at this time. Your fears and limited beliefs are coming to the surface to be transmuted into love and light. A very beautiful message today. Yes, but there's a lot of typical messages, I think, that you can get from this card. You know, there's the, if you keep doing the same thing, uh, you're, you're going to have the same results. And I saw, I think it was a good witch this morning. I, I was watching one of her reels. She's pretty uh, well known. You might know her. And her message that I, I stumbled upon this morning was about happiness and basically like you, if you want to be happy, you can't keep investing in the things that caused the unhappiness in the first place. And it sounds like, duh, but I, I think that we mistakenly keep investing and keep watering in the things that caused our unhappiness in the first place. We don't even know that we're doing it, I think. Moving forward, we're going to have to try new things, I think. Whether it's financial or whether it's, you know, with your relationships, it doesn't matter. I think that we're going to have to take some new approaches. We're going to have to make some new mistakes. And that first requires a purging process of the old. We have to understand that you know what we were doing may, might have worked for a time but we're in different times now so we should the first bit we don't have to become overwhelmed in trying to figure out what those new steps are for now we can just purge the old throw up and and then after that yeah you will feel much better when we are kind of in the the peace chapter the aftermath of that then if there is a new opportunity if there is a new beginning we're actually able to perceive it and move forward with that and so yeah it's just a painful and necessary part of the process i'm afraid but i hope that you liked this deck um please let me know if you have any questions about the deck and like I said, if you're interested in getting this deck, please see the link in the description or the comments. It'll be in either of those places. And I hope that you're all doing well whenever and wherever you're watching this. I will see you all soon. Take care.